Some breaking news tonight with the Seattle Mariners as Ryan Divish of the Seattle Times has put out an article stating that the Mariners are set to hire a new hitting coach and Edgar Martinez will be back in 2025 in an expanded role. Ryan Divish states that MLB sources have confirmed that Edgar Martinez will serve as the senior director of hitting strategy. It will be a hybrid role that has limited travel. He will be present for a large portion of spring training as well as Mariners home games while attending some of the road games. Now the hitting coach that is being hired by the Mariners is Kevin Kevin Seitzer, as well as assistant hitting coach Bobby Magallanes. Seitzer was the Atlanta Braves hitting coach from 2015 through 2024, but they ended up not bringing him back for the 2025 season. He started as a hitting coach back in 2006. He also worked with the Diamondbacks, the Royals, and the Blue Jays. Magallanes has been Seitzer's assistant hitting coach in Atlanta since 2021 after he was working with the Braves farm system for the prior two seasons and in 2021 as we all know the Atlanta Braves won the World Series. Now this is all big news for multiple reasons. First off Dan Wilson gets back Edgar Martinez to be one of the main voices throughout the clubhouse when talking about hitting. As we know, over the last 34 games of the 2024 season, the Mariners went 21-13 and 13 from August 23rd onward, which was a 100-win pace over a 162-game season. Seattle's offense during this span averaged 5.48 runs per game, which was third in MLB. They batted 273, which was second in all of baseball, and had a 355 on base percentage, which was also second in baseball. They also had a 449 slug, which was third, and an 804 OPS, which was second. And while his title isn't hitting coach, having Edgar Martinez as your senior director of hitting strategy, I think is a pretty good step. Now, what do we know about Kevin Seitzer? Kevin played 12 years in the big leagues from 1986 through 1997. He had a career batting average of 295, a 375 on base percentage. Now, while I know Seitzer won't be in the starting lineup for the Mariners, it's worth noting that throughout his career, he had 669 walks to 617 strikeouts. He was walking quite a bit more than he was striking out. Getting on base a lot, a 295 batting average, 375 on base percentage, that is a hitting philosophy similar to Edgar's that you want throughout the clubhouse. And a fun fact about Seitzer is back in 1987 when he was playing for the Kansas City Royals, he was the player that had the most hits in all of baseball in a single game. He had six hits against the Red Sox on August 2nd. Now he started as a hitting coach back in October of 2006 with the Arizona Diamondbacks. He bounced around to the Royals and the Blue Jays through 2013 and then after the 2014 season, he joined the Braves as their hitting coach. He has been with the Braves from 2014 through 2024. And after the Braves in 2023 had one of the best offensive seasons in Major League history, Seitzer was named MLB Coach of the Year by Baseball America. That year, Atlanta tied the 1927 Yankees for the best weighted runs created plus in history. Their offense was 25% above league average. And that year, the Braves hit 307 home runs, which tied the 2019 Twins. And their 501 slugging percentage was the highest of all time. And the Braves that year didn't just lead MLB with home runs. They also led with runs scored, hits, batting average, and on-base percentage. That season, the Braves won 104 games. The Braves in 2022 struck out 24.6% of the time, which was third highest in baseball. 23, they struck out 20.6% which was fifth lowest in baseball. Seitzer was quoted saying, it was amazing. I've always hated strikeouts, but it is a part of it. And when you've got damage that's unfolding and you're scoring runs, you can live with it. But that was incredible to cut down that drastically. And a bit of background on Bobby Macchianis. He went to high school in California, graduated in 1987. The Montreal Expos selected him in the 44th round. He decided to go to Saratos College, and it was none other than the Seattle Mariners that drafted Magallanos in the 50th round of the 1989 MLB Draft, and he would play 12 seasons in minor league baseball, six of those were with the Mexican League. He became a coach in the Angels system back in 2002, and he was actually the manager of the Arkansas Travelers back in 2007 when they were with the Angels, and eventually in 2019, he would join the Braves organization where he was a minor league coach for two years, and then in 2021, he joined Seitzer with the Big League Club. Now, as we all know, the the Braves have been a great hitting team for at least as long as I can remember. Starting back in 2020, they were first in OPS, 21, they were eighth in OPS, 22, they were second in OPS, 23, they were first in OPS, and last year they were 12th in the MLB in OPS. Of course, it's not quite apples to apples. They had guys like Freddie Freeman, Matt Olson, Ronald Acuna, but there's a lot of high ceiling players on this Mariners team, and they need to have that full potential brought out of them. I'm excited to learn more about both of these coaches when the Mariners actually announce these hires. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below on these moves and if you have any other insights on these guys and their hitting philosophy. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Couch GM to stay up to date on all things Mariners baseball this offseason, and we'll see you next time.